Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, playing Halo 5 Guardians and continuing on with our mission intel guide. This is mission 10, the mission's called Enemy Lines, and we are playing as Spartan Locke. The first collectible is Ceremonial Sword at the very beginning of the mission. Instead of going through the kind of key-shaped door there, we're going to jump down to the very bottom of this area and then go down into the water to the left of that door, and you should find this collectible, which is Ceremonial Sword 4 of 6, in the kind of very end of the pool of water. Now, just into that door that we were just in front of, you'll see this crossbeam of kind of rock that uh, blocks it. You'll notice also another crossbeam of rock kind of right in the middle of the area. Just off to the left, you should be able to find a uh, Covenant data pad, and you can obviously pick that up and scan it in order to get your second collectible of the level. The third collectible is just around the corner. You'll see another kind of key-shaped door right there. And uh, go, ar go around the right-hand side. You'll notice this ledge on the left. Jump up on it and then jump up onto the kind of uh, little balcony area. And you should find yet another data pad. This is Sangheili Personal Log 449. Now, the fourth collectible in this mission is just beyond that area we were just in, kind of at the very back. You'll see these two doors and ob an objective to your left. This is right before you go through the giant blue kind of shield. On the very right hand side you'll notice a small room with a storm rifle as well as a covenant data pad which you'll want to pick up. Shortly after that you'll go I believe through the bubble you'll see the kraken for the first time off in the distance on the right hand side. This is where the ghosts spawn and if you just continue on to the left you'll notice that there's a singular ghost in this small kind of tunnel cave thing and right next to it there should be a U, uh, sorry, a covenant data pad that you want to pick up. Now, we're in this part, and you'll see this kind of large, long, white skull-looking door with a gigantic rock in the middle right in front of it. There is a collectible on top of that rock. It is very hard to scale that rock, so what I recommend is getting a running start and then uh, jump and dash across to land on top of the rock. Once on top of the rock, on the right-hand side, if you're facing kind of the way we came from, you'll see the data pad right there. Pretty easy to spot once you're up there. Now a little bit later on, we'll come up into this open area, you'll see this gigantic structure in front of me which should look familiar, there's also a bubble shield as well as a wraith at the very end. We're going to go around in kind of a circular motion, if we enter and stick to the right hand side the whole time, come up on this cliff, if you jump down onto this ledge you should find Dear Covenant, Please Read, which is a Covenant data pad, this is the 7th collectible of the mission. From there we're going to go kind of to the center of this area, you're, you're going to see a few kind of statues that are torn down of human looking figures just off to the right here and we're going to actually have to climb the rock kind of behind these legs so to do that you're going to have to do it from a specific angle or else you won't get enough height to mantle up but if you do it from the kind of far end you should be able to mantle up and once you're at the very top you should be able to find the covenant attack plan covenant data pad scan it to pick it up that's going to be 8 of 10. Now from there, we're going to get Kit Pit Limp's Adventure Log 2 of 4. To get this one, what we're going to want to do is basically go under the area where the Wraith is. So you'll see me kind of going underneath this bridge area. Inside here, you should see a whole bunch of enemies as well as a breakable wall. Break through this wall, and as soon as you break through it, turn around and you should be able to spot the data pad. You can also access this area by going through the blast door, the blue shield door, and then going under but it's easier to go from the front and that's what I recommend. The last piece of mission intel, right near the end of the level, you'll have some Phaeton spawn. You'll see the Kraken directly in front of you. What you'll want to do is get into the Phaeton and go to the right hand side. Zoom over onto the platform directly in front of me. Just land on the platform, get out of your Phaeton and access the Forerunner console. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I see you in the next video. Peace.